ribeyes, thirteen forty nine a pound, eighty seven dollars for that package, seventy five, seventy two, seventy one. Who can afford this stuff? Look at this, <laughs> two thirty seven for the ribeye. It's twelve nineteen a pound, two hundred thirty four dollars, two hundred fifty one dollars. Who can buy this stuff? Nineteen ninety nine a pound for this stuff, sixty bucks. I'm telling you, beef is just so expensive. I just can't believe it. It's just ridiculous. They're screwing us with the with water, just spring water now. Unbelievable. This stuff three years ago was half the price. Not anymore. That's inflation for you right there. Here it is. Here's the price. $6.49. We're getting screwed. $51 for this oil. That's crazy. <laughs> but $199 for a bottle of wine? Holy smolies, would anybody ever buy this? That's what I want to know. Put in the comments down there because this is crazy. And I just spotted something over here. I see a grill. It's a Weber. I know Webers are really nice, but tell me something. Is anybody going to spend, oh my gosh, <laughs> $1,200 for the grill? The side went off. I didn't do it. Actually, I did do it, but $1,200 for that grill. I'm going to have to go back there and put that side up. Well, this is a Friday and my wife and I, we're here at Costco and we're gonna try and get out of here. We've got to grab a few things. We're gonna try and get out of here for $100. I know that sounds ridiculous, but you know, it's possible, but um, we're gonna try it. What do you think, hon? Let's go shopping. <laughs> Don't forget, hit and subscribe. Oh, there you go, okay. My wife remembered the important part about hitting and subscribing. I like the thumbs up myself. I always like to do an intro about some of the news for the day, and I know that uh, people are probably getting tired of hearing it, and so am I, and I'm getting tired of uh, uh, having high inflation, but it, inflation hasn't stopped, and they said that, uh, according to the Associated Press and uh, Powell, the uh, Federal Reserve Chairman said that uh, he's not going to lower interest rates anytime soon until they get inflation in check, and uh, well, that's never going to happen. That's never going to happen, and here's a couple articles that says, U.S. wholesale inflation accelerated in January, and this just came out today, and latest sign that prices picked up last month. No kidding. You know, how come I can't get a raise? I mean, that's that's the problem. You know, what do you get, a 3% raise? And, and inflation's going up faster than that almost every month. Then the other one, it said that uh, right here, more Americans are getting a second job to offset sting of high inflation. Right there. And th that's insane. And there's a lot of people out there that, that couples that they're working two jobs. I know my brother has two or three jobs and, and there's so many people out there working so many jobs and, and it's ridiculous. It says today's mortgage rates raise for 30 year terms, February uh, 16th. And it's just crazy. So the interest rates of mortgage rates uh, it, for mortgages, they're going up, inflation's going up and our wages, they're just stagnant. I mean, what, 3%? I mean, that doesn't even keep up with the cost of uh, cost of living. I mean, we have to get a, even if you got a 5% cost of living and uh, you get a 3% raise, that's 8%, that's not keeping up with inflation. It's not, I mean, we're just getting hit hard and uh, getting hit hard. And then I looked at the gas prices here in Florida, Southwest Florida, 3.39 a gallon. And I think I did it last, uh, my last video was 3.33 at Sam's and 3.35 at Wawa. Well, now it's 3.39 and it, it keeps going up. I tell you, it's crazy. Anyways, uh, we're gonna head into uh, we're gonna head into Costco here. <laughs> we're gonna check some prices. Let's have some fun. Well, once I walk up to Costco here, I notice that they have a Cadillac. <laughs> I don't know why they're putting a Cadillac out here, but uh, Cadillac $1,000 member incentive right here. But anyways, let's take a look at this Cadillac. It's not a bad blue color, but let's look at the price. That's what really counts. $56,000. Regular 64, 890, 750 is your savings right here. It's a 2024 Cadillac Sport EV here. But anyways, $56,000. Holy smolies. Now, everybody put in the comments, do you think that this is worth it? There it is, it's a Cadillac. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't own a Cadillac. Heck, I own a Camry with 185,000 miles on it. But there's your price, 56,000 for the guy. Look at all the lawn furniture that they have here. 16.99 for that. One, two, three, four, five piece. Oh, it's four pieces. Holy cow, that doesn't include this canopy. I have no idea what the canopy price is, but look at this. Look at this gazebo right here. 19.99, two grand for the darn thing. And look at this this bar set here, $24.99 for that. Crazy prices. And look at this. 
five piece set one two three four five twenty seven ninety nine that's nuts right there I don't know how people can afford it how they can buy anything like that I have no idea and I just spotted something over here I see a grill it's a Weber I know Weber's are really nice but tell me something is anybody gonna spend oh my gosh <laughs> $1,200 for the grill, the side went off. I didn't do it, actually I did do it, but $1,200 for that grill. I'm gonna have to go back there and put that side up. I'm heading back to the seafood and the meat and I just wanted to stop by and check and see what the price of these uh, wild cooked Dungeness crab legs are. They're $10.99 a pound. I don't think that's too bad, but this is $27. You'd be lucky to get eight ounces of meat off this. And what are the uh, snow crab legs here? Let's, these, oh, these Wild Cook Golden Kings, so these are small ones, $29.99 a pound. $29.99 a pound, holy cow! This, this package right here is $42.59. That's absolutely insane. There's one for $50, here's one for $60. Crazy. Let's look at the lobster tails. $24.99, this is the going price for them. They look really good. This is $75 for this. Holy cow! And people are buying the crap out of this too. Here's here's five of them for eighty-four dollars and ninety-seven cents. Wow, these are some big lobster tails. They gave their life for this, but uh, and they're wild too. These are Florida lobster tails. They look really nice. This is three and a half pounds, but it's eighty-five dollars. Would anybody buy that? Oh, and the lobster tails are right next to the wine. Well, <laughs> you're gonna have to get plowed. Holy cow, not for fifty-four dollars. Look at this. Look at that, there's a skeleton on there. <laughs> oh my gosh, $54, $12, that's more like it. 39 bucks, no way, $55, $49.99. This is some expensive stuff here, $22, $49.99 again. Oh my gosh, come on, where's the Mad Dog 2020 that was $3.50? <laughs> this is more my style, I don't drink, but that's still that's still high for me but I'm telling you 54 bucks for this stuff no way I found some more expensive wine 68 here 199 for this 99 for that 99 for those 79 for this but hundred ninety nine dollars for a bottle of wine holy smolies when anybody ever buy this that's what I want to know put in the comments down there because this is crazy I do believe I spot a bargain wild sockeye previously frozen salmon right here $7.99 if I can talk my wife into getting a slab of this I will this is $12.50 this looks nice with the skin on holy cow that's a good price $7.99 then they have the wild wild uh, Atlantic cod $8.99 oh I do love cod that's really nice this is a beautiful piece of fish right here people tell me stop touching this stuff well how am I gonna show you 1951 for this over two pounds 899 a pound that's a good bargain and this wild sockeye this is the best and this is natural color it's not this isn't farm raised this is all natural right here that's a good bargain there let's check some other seafood since we're here the wild Chilean sea bass it's still 2499 it's never gonna come down in price it's never gonna do it forty dollars and forty eight cents a little pricey and here's some Atlantic salmon right here farm raised eleven ninety nine a pound they've got a crap load of it this this package here is thirty two dollars thirty two bucks thirty five for this package fresh tilapia six forty nine a pound farm raised thirty six bucks for that piece of salmon nine ninety nine it's filleted right here this is nine ninety nine and this is $11.99. I don't know what the difference is other than the price. They look the same. Look at all the salmon that they have. More tilapia. My gosh. $9.99. $9.99 a pound. Then they got this is farm raised snapper here. And where is it from? I know it's not from this country. $6.50 a pound. I can't even see where it's. It, the, pr the print is too small. And here's tilapia. Most likely this is from India. $3.99 a pound. My gosh. Product of Columbia. I finally spotted tiny print. Really tiny print. Where is this from? Product of Costa Rica. That's where it's from. The snappers from Costa Rica and the shrimp. Farm raised shrimp here. 
It's $9.99 a pound. It looks good, but it's raised. This is product farm raised in Thailand. Look how much they have. Holy cow! And here's the uh, farm fresh mussels, $13.88, $4.95 a pound. Product to Canada. This looks good, but it's farm raised. And the, then the clams. Here's the clams. My gosh, this is heavy. These look good. Clams raised. Product of USA, farm fresh, $3.99 a pound for that. 20 bucks. My wife really likes clams. She likes the mussels too. That's not bad. They still have the um, the the New York strip. I'm trying to think here. New York strip for $9.99 a pound, 48 bucks. You gotta get four of them, but I mean this is a pretty good deal if you like New York strip. And here's some beef loin cut really sh uh, thin. I can't pronounce that. Shabu Shabu USDA DA $9.99. And here's some sad looking bone and ribeyes. And they're $9.99 a pound, but they're all bone and fat. I saw these here last week. $43 bucks for this package. $45 for that one. $45. They're all $45 to $50. Bucks. Holy cow! But $9.99 a pound, but you get a lot of bone and a lot of fat. The pork loin back ribs are $2.99 a pound. I believe the same price. Look at this. This is $28. And you get three of them in here. These, this is heavy right here. That's uh, that's almost 10 pounds. And here's here's some of the ribs that are cut sideways here. These are really good. $3.29 a pound. Uh, St. Louis ribs cut sideways. This big package is $18 right there. I like that. And just your regular uh, St. Louis ribs here. They're $2.99 a pound. $34. You get two of them in here. Two of these big bad boys. Holy cow, look at that. These look good. $2.99 a pound. Then they're pork chops right here. Let's look at the actually let's look at the pork loin here. If you get this is $2.79 a pound, which is this. And this is a buck ninety-nine a pound. Same price at it's old, my hands are bloody now. The same price at Sam's. This is really good. So this this is this cut up right like that. Then you have the pork chops over here. And these pork chops are $2.79 a pound. <laughs> More bloody hands right here. These look, look how look how nice they look. Oh my gosh, you gotta have a little bit of fat when you cook them. And $2.79 a pound, but they look really good. I mean, Sam's and, um, and Costco, really good prices on pork. And the pork loin, the tenderloin, $2.99 a pound. They've got a ton of it. So if you get a two pack of this, $13.84. That's a deal right there. This is really tender. This is my favorite thing here at Costco or at Sam's are the uh, rotisserie chickens and they're $4.99 and they're always delicious. And I think that the, the chickens from um, from Costco taste better. Look at that. They look nice. They, they taste better here than they do from uh, Sam's Club. And I, I don't know why, if they use different chickens or not, but uh, $4.99 and they actually have cooked garlic pepper season. Look at those wings, 14 bucks for that. And holy cow, they're $2.99 a pound. No, these are $6.49 a pound. These look delicious right here. I could eat half that package right now. I like that stuff. But the chicken here, I believe, is uh, better at Costco than it is at Sam's. That looks just delicious. Beef ribeye boneless roast right here. Where is that? Oh, it's one of these big guys. $95. That's $13.49 a pound. Round eye, $4.89. A pound. This looks really nice, 25 bucks. But look at this guy, 86 bucks. And here's the beef chuck, 5.99 a pound. But 50 dollars. You got to buy 50 dollars worth. And these giant ribs, monster ribs, five dollars a pound. And um, I really like these on the barbecue. And you put barbecue sauce on, salt and pepper, and oregano gives it a great flavor. 21 dollars for all those guys. But it's a lot of fat when you bite into it. What else do they have? Here's the chuck. $4.99 for the Chuck's uh, stew. This was $8.50 a pound at Walmart. And this is really tough stuff right here. The round, $4.89. Beef loin, New York, boneless, $9.99 a pound. Here's your flap, <laughs> $11.99. See how the grain runs? You'd have to marinate this and cut it against the grain. Otherwise, it's tough. This package is $37. And there's the flank, $10.99 a pound. Beef loin, top sirloin, $10.99 a pound. And what is this? 
beef loin top whole, $132. It's $8.99 a pound. Look at that monster right there. That's all solid fat. Holy cow. And um, what else do they have? Here's a beef outside skirt, $62. It's $13.99 a pound. Look how much they have. And here's your uh, ribeyes, $13.49 a pound. $87 for that package, $75, $72. 71 who can afford this stuff look at this <laughs> 237 for the ribeye it's 12.19 a pound 234 dollars 251 dollars who can buy this stuff 19.99 a pound for this stuff 60 bucks i'm telling you beef is just so expensive it's absolutely insane i can see how someone if you put one of these in your shopping cart and you put one of those you'd be at over 300 dollars the avocados here, a six pack of these, a six six count package is they're five eighty nine, so a dollar each. That's about it. They don't look too bad, other than some gouges in them. They don't look too bad at all. And um, five eighty, and the grape tomatoes here, five eighty nine. I mean, you do get a lot of them, but you're never going to get away from the price of anything. Five eighty nine, five ninety nine, please. These are seven ninety nine for the sugar bombs. Eight bucks for sugar bombs. Holy cow! And all of these tomatoes here, $6.29 for all these tomatoes right here. $6.29, you only get about what? I mean, one, two, four, six, eight, maybe nine or ten of them for $6.29. Tomatoes are really high. Oh, I see the blueberries, they're $5.79, so my wife is going to tell me to get some, so uh, I'm probably going to have to do it. So I have to find out which ones are better. You've got two different brands right here. But they're both uh, 18 ounces, so $5.79. I'll let, I'll let my wife come back here and pick them, but uh, let's check out the cherries over here. And uh, cherries are really expensive. She's going to want those, too. So cherries, two pounds of cherries, $10.99. I know she's going to want these. Look at that. They look really good, but, I mean, my gosh, that's that's crazy. I just I, I mean, if I bought the cherries and I bought the blueberries, you're talking of what about about 16 17 dollars organic squash here six six ninety nine it's just not cheap to eat anymore but the blackberries are 349 so this is a little bit better but you're only getting you're only getting 12 ounces of them that's all you're getting oh here's the organic blueberries 879 well there's not many in that one there's not many in these organic 879 for that that's ridiculous just ridiculous let's check the organic asparagus 899 for this stuff come on it looks really good that's a, that's a monster asparagus but that's a monster price that's absolutely insane right there I just I could I could never buy it I know it's organic but I could never buy it for that price and organic, everything now is organic. It called it called it's called organic. Five ninety nine, even for the green beans. My mom would uh, <laughs> she'd freak out if she uh, if she was around and she saw prices like this. No way. We used to grow them in our garden up in Michigan. Didn't cost us anything. We used seeds, but five ninety nine for two pounds of green beans. I never thought I'd see the day, but it's here. And all the salad kits are crazy. Boston lettuce, six ninety nine for that. Organic Power Greens, <laughs> $6.99. Organic Caesar Salad right here, $8.99. Kale, $6.99. $7.99 for this, $8.99 for that, $8.99 for this, $8.99 for that. It's all pricey. Here's more pricey stuff. Organic uh, mangoes right here. You get six of them. Six mangoes for $7.99. That's crazy. $10.99 for Golden Kiwi. That's just nuts. That's crazy. Nothing's coming down with this stuff, with vegetables or with fruits. Gold, uh, green kiwi, $6.99. $8.49 for the apple pears right here. $8.49 for that. And how much are the dates? They're always high. $11.99 for the dates. And then you have some cookies over here. I shouldn't, <laughs> I shouldn't be looking at cookies. $9.99. But I, find out, I found out that Publix makes a lot better cookies compared to um, the, the big box stores like this. They just don't taste as good as a Publix cookie, so I'd rather spend a little more and get a Publix cookie because if you spend 10 bucks on this, take a bite of the cookie, it's no good, you've wasted 10 bucks. 
Now, one thing I do like, and I may get these guys right here. These are croissants, $5.99. And I bought them here before. These are some monster croissants. They make some great sandwiches. You get 12 of them in here. And believe me, I will eat every one of these guys, $5.99. But I'm gonna price some bread. I'll show you, bread's gone way up. And I just got my Dutch oven in the it, you know, from Amazon, and I'm gonna bake some bread because I'm tired of, tired of paying the high price for bread. Even croissants, $5.99. Let's check out the other bread. And it's right over here. These are these are bagels here. You get a two-pack, $7.99. $7.99, you get two of them. And then here is a two-pack of the, the baguettes. It's $5.99 for the baguettes. They're still warm, but six bucks for that. And how much are these? These are $5.99 for the artisan rolls. I don't think this is overly priced. It's still high, and here's two loaves of bread for $5.99. And now let's look at the stuff. This is $7.99 here. That's $7.99 for this multi-grain. Two pounds of bread. And here's more bread right here. Rosemary Parmesan. This is $7.99 for this stuff. And they've got a ton of it. And it's six six thirty. dollars What are they going to do with all the bread? Are they going to sell all this or what? Because I don't see them selling it all. Here's some iodized alkaline water, pH 9.5, whatever the heck that is, I have no idea. Anything to, to screw you and get money out of you. Smart water, um, $17.99. It's piled high. It looks like nobody wants it. Here's this Fiji stuff, and it's $21.99. And here's Zephyr Hill, $7.99 $7 for this stuff right here. Hydrate. How much is this stuff? I can't see the price. Where is it? $6.49 for this. So now I have to spend $6.50 to get a case of this. That's all I'm going to get is one case. I just can't believe it. It's just ridiculous. They're screwing us with the with water, just spring water now. Unbelievable. This stuff three years ago was half the price. Not anymore. That's inflation for you right there. Here it is. Here's the price. $6.49. We're getting screwed. And let's look at some fish. We're right here, Atlantic salmon here individually wrapped three pounds 34.99 for that here's wild caught sockeye 34.99 you saw the fresh was 7.99 and so i I'd, I'd buy the fresh over the frozen and mahi mahi three pounds is 24.99 for that and what is this tilapia farm raised three pounds 1850 wild caught kita salmon fillets 22.99 $45.99 for a pound and a half of chilling and sea bass. My gosh! And here's the wild caught orca flounder fillets right there. $15.99, but they make it seem like they're coming out of Seattle. But I don't think they're coming out of Seattle. It's not a bad price though. Three pounds of, of the, the flounder right here, individually wrapped. I'm trying to see where they're from. I thought they were from a different country other than America. It's hard to find that they, they hide this stuff on you, but it's $15.99 for your, for your flounder. I don't think that's a bad price at all. Wild caught Pacific cod right here. Two pounds of it is $19.99, and I don't think that's bad at all. They're individually wrapped, so they'll last a long time in the refrigerator, and I bought these before. 20 bucks though. You get two pounds of frozen shrimp here at Kirkland. Um, this is all farm raised right here. $14.99, a product of where? Product of Indonesia. Yeah, none of this stuff comes from America. What is this? $16.49. Here's some farm raised shrimp right here, at Kirkland. And where does this stuff come from? Product of India. So they're raised in those those dirty ponds. And if you don't think they're dirty, just look it up online. $12.99 for this shrimp right here. Kirkland shrimp, $12.99 for this. It's all farm raised and where is this from product of Vietnam yep everything is farm raised nothing from this country you got Thailand Thailand India uh, Colombia <laughs> it's just from all over the place and here's some Argentine shrimp here I tried it I didn't like it at all I did not like this at all it's wild caught but it, I just didn't like the taste of it and it's already pre-cooked I did not like it but anyways $21.99 for two pounds I'm trying to find some sales here I see something like this Akai Akai smoothie pack right there $8.99 here's some chicken 
crispy wings, $15.99 for that. $14.99 for the boneless buffalo chicken bites, three and a quarter pounds. My gosh. And here's what I bought last time, and I'm going to get a package of them. Crispy chicken strips, three pounds is $10.49. Right here, these Tyson. I'm going to get a package of these guys. We brought our cooler, $10.49. I think that's a bargain here, and these were really good. I really like these guys. That's the only bargain I see. Here's some chicken nuggets, organic platter, two pounds, $9.99, but um, I don't know about these guys. $9.99. Uh, I bought some stuff like this before, and it tasted like crap, and I don't want to waste my money. So $10.49, I'm happy with the Tyson. And here, are the, here's some chicken breast chunks, $13.99. And how many pounds is this stuff? I can't see it. They're just stuffed in here. It doesn't look like they're selling, but it's 14 bucks. Oh, four pounds. But the avocado oil, this is a good deal right here. 21.79 because you get two liters of it like this. And But we get it at Sam's, you get one liter of it. It's 9.99, so it's a better deal. But avocado oil, high cooking point of 500 degrees. And I bought one of these last time I was here. 13.89, it is really good. And um, well, I'll tell you. Here, that's glass right there unfiltered extra virgin olive oil and they have a brand that at Sam's that I really like and it was it was equally expensive and here's some organic extra virgin olive oil $21.99 for this oil is not cheap and they put it in a darker uh, container to make it look uh, like it's r really good but this this is just delicious just put it on some toast and um, with some butter olive oil fantastic and don't forget to dip it in your rails <laughs> Here's some holy cow 31.99 for this. That's Spanish extra virgin olive oil cold extract 31.99 now. And here's 18.99 for Pompeian oil. Goodness, my gosh. Holy smoly's 50 bucks for what? For this for Kirkland? No way. That's crazy. $50 for oil. That's nuts. 24.99 for this. And 50 for that, that's crazy. $51 for this oil, that's crazy. <laughs> well, that's gonna wrap it up for our shopping uh, trip today here at Costco, and uh, we're getting out of here for under $100 because I only got the chicken and I got the water. I don't know what my wife has. I haven't seen her since we got in the store. She could have a handful of stuff. So I hope everybody enjoyed the show. Give me a thumbs up for like, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, this is Scott with The Real Economy. We'll see you.